Two large eyes emerged from a sleeping bag I did not see. I was arrested by that moment in uncontrollable empathy. Not the son of anyone, just the open world his teacher, but those great large eyes affixed to mine. That was the humbling feature. Acknowledging the pain above which we try to rise, a curious from the eyes concern, no convention can disguise. Scars are left and blemishes, only an inner eye can see. We are exchanging our compassion, that's what he gave to me. Reassurance felt as days went by, though he had no social role. He was serving a different purpose, the deepening of his soul. We were sharing hidden assonance whilst that look to me he gave. Compelled, he even dropped his guard. So important was his gaze, his curious, confusing glance that I could not quantify, became obscured by living bushes of people passing by. The action of a courageous gent of genuine concern was taking him some purchased food, but those eyes to me returned, the kindness of strangers walking on which he had relied, not worthy here of doctrine, he was the better qualified. This uncomfortableness of feeling of that glance he gave to me, I knew he recognised there was pain enough for three. A presence of the familiar from a heart that was worldly wise, as if he knew in depth from the memory of my eyes. Stirred by this very moment, I received a message sent, for I felt within my soul that silent compliment. I know I kind of know, and I knew he kind of knew, that in our own quiet way we would try to make it through. The spirit of that moment from our plane is quite diverse, perceived in a fifth dimension, a parallel universe. A brief but strange encounter, in a secret hidden glance, viewed from a concrete pavement of abnormal circumstance.